Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. The ultimate electronic precision screwdriver set from Amazon from a company called Sunan. S O O N A N. Okay, click on the Sunan store and see what else they sell. Anyway, um, ships, ships from Amazon sold by Sunan Direct. This kit costs $69.99. They do have other kits as well for a much cheaper price, but they're, this is the only one they offer that's electric, at least on this particular page. I haven't even looked at the store yet, so <laughs> never know, might get a surprise. I didn't pay $69.99 though, Canadian for it. I paid far less because I bought a two of these kits, different sellers, but there was also a deal going on with Amazon and I saved a bunch of money, so kudos there. Uh, sales always help. Prime days yesterday would have really helped a lot of people too for getting some great discounts um, website wide on a lot of products. So let's uh, talk about this. So we have a hundred bits here. Anything you can pretty much imagine is here including some security Torx bits which is crazy cool. Um, there are some bits here that I have never even seen before in my life and I'm like what would that be in? I have no idea. We even have a magnet bit, which is cool. And this one I found really cool because it shows two pieces, uh, which is kind of, you know, you got the, the piece and then you got the other piece and this goes into here and um, yeah, you could uh, probably put a few different things on here, maybe different, you might even be able to, I don't know. No, you wouldn't be able to put a socket on there. Um, it's usable for something. I don't know. There, like I said, there's some bits in here I've never even seen before. So I have no clue. Like these fork bits. I've never seen these fork bits before. I don't know what, what device they would be sitting in. But um, hey, you know, I don't know everything either, which is great. Now we also do get the main accessory side, which is made up of another 20 pieces, uh, which includes your uh, different spudgers, your tweezers, uh, which... By the way, these tweezers are really nice. And they're also made out of metal. They're not plastic garbage tweezers. Um, you've got different spudger tools in plastic. You've even got a metal one that's pretty freaking cool looking. Uh, I have no idea what to use that in. Um, plastic ones I do, but metal ones, I don't know. i kind of a little leery on that one. Magnetizer, demagnetizer, different picks for opening up phones and tablets and stuff. You also have a magnet sheet down below here that's magnetic and it holds your screws in place on there so they don't fly all over the place, so that's awesome. You also have a cleaning cloth. Um, you have a suction cup with a key so you can pop the, the SIM card out of your phone or tablet that you're working on, so that's kind of really nice. And then you have the main tool here, and that's in its own little case, which you can either keep until it one day disintegrates or just toss it aside and just put the tool back in like this. Anyways, so we do have uh, three buttons on here, forward, reverse, and we have the LED light, which is quite cool. There's like three, yeah, there's three LEDs on there. They're a little bright, um, but you got forward, reverse. Runs actually quite quiet, and it's just the very center piece that actually turns. The outside portion doesn't. And it does have a lock on it too, so that you can use this as a manual screwdriver if you needed to either for adding extra torque or breaking a really tight screw uh, free um, or of course you know just manual use like I said if the battery dies right so you got a manual or electronic now I will say this Amazon has a rating on this kit of 2532 ratings an average of 4.6 out of 5 now that's actually a pretty good high rating and I think a lot of that rating is coming from everything in the kit except for the screwdriver part. I think that's one thing that I'm sure if I read enough reviews I'd find enough people complaining about the same thing I do and that's the fact this is completely cylindrical and can easily roll around on the table which is a royal pain in the butt. Okay, There are a number of different electronic screwdriver kits out there to be found throughout the internet but also on Amazon and some of them have much shorter easier to handle, I guess, screwdrivers uh, that are electronic. Uh, some of them have uh, just a flat side to them or several flat sides, so they don't roll around, which would be kind of handy. I don't like the fact that this rolls around, so my entire review 
kind of stands to be, I'm going to rate this at 4 out of 5. It ain't perfect, and that's annoying that this thing can just freely roll around on its own. I don't like that part of it. But otherwise, the rest of the kit, I think, is absolutely fabulous, fantastic. The variety you get in bits alone is just outstanding. It's great. They stay organized. They're clearly labeled as to what they are. That is awesome. Now, the charging of this tool is USB-C. Now, they give you a C to A cable. Well, I don't know it's C to C. I have no idea, but whatever. Okay, a lot of people more have C to A or they have an A charger, but whatever. It is type C here. I did not use the cable included to charge it with, though they suggest doing that. I have other charge cables here that are already type C to type C or type C to type A. And the cable I used was actually a type C to type C into a type C to type A adapter, which plugs into uh, my two amp power supply. They do not give you the charge block. They do give you the cable because you could actually charge this thing from your laptop or portable power bank, no big deal. They do say that the charge time does not exceed two and a half hours. Now, it, what it's shipped like all battery operated tools. The battery is in what's called a storage mode uh, of about 3.8 volts, I believe is the nominal for that. And um, so it only took about a half an hour with my two amp block to fully charge it. And it has a light indicator that's white when it's charging and in green when it's fully charged. It's kind of idiot proof that way, you know, and it's quite visible, so that's not a problem. Now, the length is kind of a little weird and whatnot, but you know, you can get used to it, I'm sure. I'm gonna try and get used to it. I did order a second kit, a little bit different from this one for the exact same money, also being on sale because I got a deal, so I didn't I did not pay $70 retail for either kit. Um, I did get a good deal, so hey. It works, but I know you guys all want to see this thing in action. So let's pull out a bit here and I think if I remember right, it was this one. Now the bits do have a bit of magnetism to them, but if you need to strengthen that magnetism, uh, you do have a magnetizer demagnetizer block in here and uh, it is clearly marked as to which is which. Demagnetize up top, magnetize at the bottom. It's just as simple as Run this back and forth a few times, just like so. And that's now magnetized, and voila. So, let's put this down and out of the way. And let's grab our victim. And we just simply make sure that the screw is a perfect fit. Uh, that one is not a perfect fit. So we do need to go to a little bit bigger tip. Half the battle is getting the right, perfect fitting tip for the screws that you're using. That's a good fit. Now, you can break free manually because it has that feature. I've seen more expensive drivers like this that actually don't have the locking system on it for manual use. So it's nice that this one actually has it. And you can snug it up manually too. Anyway, so let's uh, see if we can now remove that now that we snugged it manually. No problem, lots of torque to break it free. And you see the screw, jaw, screw hangs on there. And again. And out it comes. That's convenient and quicker than doing this all manually by hand, which is a royal pain and your hands can cramp up. And as you get older, you know it's gonna hit, your hands are gonna cramp up, so you're gonna want all the advantages in life that you can get, so. Now to put it back in, just simply put it in there. Go until it stops is what I do. And that's it, and done. Now at this point, you can choose to give it a little bit of extra torque, uh, or you can just leave it. It has plenty of stopping power that I think as far as laptops go it's going to be more than enough and you don't want these small screws super tight because you could easily strip them out um, so I would probably say just deal with the torque that's there maybe a little bit of extra snugness manually okay which is easy enough to just a little twist is that that's all you need now again if the battery dies 
Oh, this is the only tool I got with me. Oh, I forgot to charge it and it died. Well, that's why you still have manual mode for this. Where you can just unscrew it, pop it out, and away you go. And you need to pop it back in. That's its stopping point. A little extra turn. That's all you need. Works great. But it does have that tendency to be able to roll. So that part I don't like about it. But that's also why it gets a 4 out of 5. And I won't go any higher and I don't believe it deserves anything higher than a 4 out of 5. Because of that one part of this tool where it definitely has a roll feature. I, I'm not going to really ding it for the length of the tool even though I do find it. It's a, it's a little on the long side but there's no harm in that either. I mean there's the motor in here, your switching board, your, your light unit for your on and off for your for your LED so if you need to see down holes um, I mean and then you've got your battery in here now as far as details go on the battery that's something that I really didn't see anything on um, we do have type C charging with, oh, okay it is here 350 milliamp um, can be empty for two hours standby for 180 days Sufficient power anytime, anywhere. The charging time is less than 50 minutes. But then they say in the manual that not more than two and a half hours. But they're right about less than 50. It only took 30 minutes to charge it on a 2 amp charger. So, and that's from, from right out of the package. And they do suggest charging it before the first time you use it. And I totally would make sure that you do that too. Um, anyways. So you got 100 bits, you've got a 20-bit tool kit on the side extra, which part of that is actually this, apparently. Um, but um, yeah, okay, so what else we got? Mini electric screwdriver, 100 bits, one extension rod, one magnetizer, which also demagnetizes, the magnetic pad, the cable, 15-bit tool kit, handbag, 30-day money-back guarantee, and 12-month warranty. If you have any issues, peel please feel free to contact us the, in the first time, so whenever you have it. We will solve this issue for you without any hesitation. It's a very suitable birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day gift for family and friends. It's also great for just buying for yourself for just because you want more tools, right? Um, now, when it comes to consumer ratings, what they talk about here is 4.7 for versatility, 4.6 value for money, Easy to remove, 4.6, so I guess removing screws. Durability is 4.2, with an overall rating in the end of being uh, 4.6. So that's actually pretty decent. You know, I mean, I, I, I've, I've looked at a number of reviews on YouTube. I've seen, uh, I think there's like two YouTube videos on this one. And I really didn't like hearing a word out of either one of those people because um, I think they were just sent this tool from the looks of things. Um, and, you know, I mean, I get stuff sent to me too, granted, but I have 100% uh, full control over the reviews with, with companies, so that's part of my condition of doing it, um, is that I get to say what I want, how I want about the product. And, um, you know, and even when I buy my own products, I'm still going to say what I want. But I'm certainly not going to make this thing out to be the greatest thing on earth. Though, yes, I know we did title it the Ultimate Precision Toolkit. And that's because, not that it's the top dog out there by any means, it's because you get over 100 bits with a large variety, plus all of this, and a convenient carry case. I mean, it's a great kit. I, and the tool quality of the, the steel bits is really good. Um, and I do like the fact it comes with a ma magnetizer, demagnetizer, because sometimes you don't want a bit to be magnetized, depending on what you're working on, so you can easily demagnetize the bits. And the bits already have a, a bit of magnetism to them already, but you can increase that with this little tool block, or you can just remove the magnetism completely. And the tools are held in magnetically regardless, so there is going to be somewhat of a little bit of a magnetic field there, but it's going to be... Um, so weak once you disengage this that it's going to be fine and the tool is not going to drop the bit so you're, you're good that way 
but I don't like the way the fact that it does roll around so easily that bothers me and that's why you get a four out of five on this deal otherwise I would definitely say I do highly recommend the kit if this is something you're looking for and if you're looking for this size of a kit but you don't like the screwdriver you can order just bare screwdrivers from some some places on Amazon there's a couple I found um, or you can get a smaller kit that has a better driver to your liking um, and just put that driver in place and then use this one with the smaller kit for maybe stuff you would want to use it for you know kind of thing where you wouldn't care that the tool rolls around it's kind of up to you but this is a pretty pro level kit uh, for working on computers, phones, tablets, cameras, all kinds of stuff um, when it comes to electronic devices and whatnot. Uh, it, it's definitely a good kit. And if you do find that there's a device you can't get into because maybe the bits are too short, there's a lot of third party bit kits you can buy with really long bits, and any four millimeter bit will fit this thing. Uh, so that's also yet another bonus um, is being able to get the extra long bits that you need um, and you could even tuck a small packet of those in here too for things that you know you would need extra long bits for that maybe these perhaps might be a little on the shy side for length you know I mean you could argue they should have made them longer to begin with well no it's just for the majority of stuff you're going to use these on you'll be fine um, but there are options to get other bits out there that are longer in those, you know, rare cases where you might need a much longer bit. And, and, or if worse comes to worse, just keep your old manual kit and use that for those particular items. It's kind of a win-win a no matter how you look at it. It's definitely a win-win. So I, I think as far as everything goes, it's definitely, even at my, my rating of uh, being 4 out of 5, um, you're going to be hard pressed to beat $69 Canadian to get all that. That is a really great kit for the money. So, anyways, do stay tuned though. We do have another kit that I ordered that is smaller. Um, I do like the drill driver in it much better. Um, and I may swap them out. We'll see what happens. Um, but um, either way, uh, we're also going to have a basically a versus video between the two kits I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more of these kits or not to review because um, I really only need so many kits myself uh, but I did find a actual driver that is a drill drill so it uses drill bits and I'm thinking about ordering that because I thought that was pretty cool but it is limited uh, to the maximum size bit of 2.2 millimeter so it is great for PCB electronics it's great for drilling small holes in PCB boards or in other things where you need to drill a very small hole um, and it's a really nice driver so I'm thinking I might actually order that in because I could use one of those so I might do that yet I'll think about it and if I decide to do it I'll do it by the end of the day and we'll probably have that probably by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week but in the meantime, let's continue on. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned uh, for the other kit and then stay tuned for the Versus video. Um, and we'll see if we got something around here we can take apart with a heck of a lot more screws in it that are also under a bit bigger torque load because that'll be interesting too. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.